Hi everyone, I'm Kiki Fontenot and I'm with the LSU Ag Center and I'm standing out here on a wonderful day at D&D Farms in Brobridge, Louisiana, next to some Primark Traveler blackberries. We're gonna talk about varieties here in just a second, but if this is something you're considering adding to your farm for diversity of crops, or you're a homeowner watching this and you just wanna have some nice sweet fruit, you know, there's plenty of varieties that will do well here in Louisiana. The first thing you really wanna think about though is the location you're gonna plant it in. I challenge you guys to find the sunniest spot in your yard. Um, you're gonna need six to eight hours, you know, more would be great of direct sunlight to produce great flowers and great berries. So we really need direct sunlight is gonna be key when we're talking about producing a nice blackberry crop. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to think about is irrigating this crop. This is gonna be critical the first year in establishment period. So whether you guys plant these um, from containers and you're putting them out year round, or if you're buying um, transplants or bare root plants, you can put them out fall and spring. But that first year, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they get about an inch of water per week, okay? So somewhere where you can easily access irrigation is gonna be important for this crop as well. The next thing that you're going to want to think about is there's different types of blackberries on the market. There's upright blackberries and then there's vining blackberries. And the vining blackberries need a little bit more support. We're standing next to Arkansas Prime or Primark Traveler, which is an upright blackberry, and you can see its kind of growth habit is pretty rigid all the way up. It's still needing support from this trellis a little bit here, but when we're talking about some of the more vining types, you're definitely gonna need a trellis. And what we've been doing at the LSU Ag Center and what they're doing out here at D&D Farms is using some pretty heavy duty posts. We've been using four by fours at the Ag Center. We have some on metal as well. And you're gonna put these heavy duty posts at least a foot, foot and a half into the ground. And you're gonna want them to be about every 20, 25 feet, maybe 30 feet apart. Then you'll get some pretty strong gauged wire. And at the Ag Center, we're running a two wire system. So we're going up about two to three feet off the ground with our bottom wire. And then we go up another two to three feet from that and we run our top wire. Here at D&D, they've got three wires on top, a couple on each side and some down below. There's no magic right or wrong way to do this. What you wanna do is just be able to bend the canes up and support them within or on the wires as they're growing. That's the most important part. You're gonna have to continuously tighten this throughout the season. You can see this wire here is getting a little bit loose. You know, as it gets warmer, they tend to slack or have a little slack in it and you'll just have to tighten the tension on these wires. So um, that's easily achievable by finding a few pieces of hardware at the, at the local hardware store. So now that you've got them established and you've got some irrigation plans and you're doing well, you know, what, what varieties should you choose? Well, there's tons of varieties, and actually it's the University of Arkansas that's done an amazing job with breeding different blackberry varieties. Um, the one, again, we're standing next to right now is Prime Arc Traveler. This is an excellent blackberry because it will produce fruit off of the primocanes and the floricanes. So when we're talking about blackberries, we're talking about a perennial crop. But what you need to think about is the root system is perennial, meaning it's always alive under the ground, whether you see canes on top or not. The canes, okay, when we say the canes, this might be what you guys think of as stems. These kind of bendable but still more rigid stems of the blackberries are what we refer to as the canes. These are biennial. That means they grow for two years and then die. So your first year cane is gonna be a floricane, okay? And in typical older varieties, the floricanes will grow vegetatively the first season, and then the next season or the next year, they will produce flowers and fruit. But on primocane varieties, these actually end in flower buds. So you'll see on some of these newer um, canes out here, this one, and as we go down the row, you'll see some what will open up into some flower buds. So what you can do is you can tip these back, pinch them back, and get these to, to branch out laterally and create more fruit, okay? And you'll get fruit not only this first year, but also the floricanes or the second year as well. So that's what's neat about these primocane type blackberries. Um, when we talk about Traveler, one of the reasons you might like it in your backyard or you might like it if you're thinking of opening or you run a U-Pick operation is it's thornless. So you can have kids, I can come in here, I can prune, I can pull things out, reach deep down for the darkest, deepest blackberry way down here 
without having any sticks or troubles. And that's really nice quality and trait of this blackberry right here. We're gonna go ahead and move over to some other rows and tell you about some different varieties. Okay guys, now we're standing next to Prime Arc 45. This again is a 2009 release from the University of Arkansas. And the difference between it and Traveler is gonna be that you see there's a lot of thorns on these branches. This is still a primocane um, producing blackberry plant. It's gonna have nice sized fruit. The fruit is very firm. You can see I can squeeze it here, it doesn't give a lot. Great storage quality, it's a good shipper, but it's also great for the backyard garden if you don't mind the thorns. Um, Prime Arc is just another example of a great blackberry crop that we can grow here in Louisiana. Now when we're thinking about Prime Arc 45 and Prime Arc Traveler, and we'll next talk about Prime Arc Freedom, all of these bushes require about 300 chill hours to produce fruit. Chill hours are gonna range between 32 degrees and, 42, and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And so this is a, a crop, we can actually break down some of the abscisic acid and get flowers and get fruit on these in South Louisiana for sure. So this is great for South and North Louisiana. Okay, and now we're standing next to Prime Arc Freedom, which is another release from the University of Arkansas. It came out in 2013. And what you're gonna notice about Prime Arc Freedom is again, we have um, no thorns on the stems, which is really nice, just like Traveler. Um, and we have large size fruit, especially right here. You can see glossy and, and pretty. The only thing is with this fruit, it's gonna be slightly softer, so it won't ship as well. So you'd wanna pick this if you were a U-pick operation or a home backyard gardener would be fine. But if you were only shipping blackberries, this might not be the perfect choice for you. Still a wonderful variety, still requires 300 chill hours, will still do great in Louisiana.